What is up guys, today we're gonna go get the R32 crossmember for the S13. That's how I'm gonna swap it in, I'm not gonna get a mount kit. Cause getting the crossmember is cheaper and it just bolts right up to it, so it's, it's a no brainer. There was one on offer up, so I was like, okay, I, I, I can't not get that. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then we'll come back and then we'll unbolt the tranny, take a look at the clutch, see how all that is, and go from there, see what we can get done today. just run these why not but now that we're finally back we can unbolt the transmission and that that will be good times that will be fun so let's just let's just jump right into it okay so we've got the tranny off the engine and there's the pressure plate the clutch is inside there and then there's the flywheel this guy with the teeth, the big, big gear. So, I'm going to first put the transmission out. I'm gonna set it somewhere. And then, uh, I guess I'll take the uh, pressure plate off, see how the clutch is, and go from there. I think I'm gonna get a new clutch regardless of how this one is, because it looks OEM. It's not like a six puck or anything. It's just, just a regular round clutch. So, I think, I'll end up getting a clutch, and hopefully the flywheel is good, so I, or get that resurfaced or whatever, uh, because clutch kits, at least the one that I've been looking at, doesn't come with the flywheel. So, what the fuck? Hopefully my flywheel is still good, and I can just like get it resurfaced, because I still need it, because the clutch kit that I'm looking at, it doesn't come with the flywheel. Uh, it just comes with the clutch and the pressure plate. It doesn't come with the throttle bearing or the pilot bearing or, or even the hardware for, for the pressure plate. But luckily I have it here. So that's, we're good there. But yeah, so I'll check that out real quick. Put the trans up somewhere and uh, I guess we'll, we shall go from there. A reason to replace the clutch is, one, it's just a good idea to replace it. Uh, just because you never know, this one could look perfectly fine and then put it in and it may last a couple thousand miles and then have to pull it out again and I don't want to do that. So, uh, another reason is when I take all the stuff off, I don't have a clutch alignment tool for this spline. I don't even know what the spline is, but I don't have the tool, the alignment tool for it. So, you get it every time you get a clutch kit, you get, a, you get the alignment tool. So, I'll just end up getting, do that so I don't have to guess. And, uh, and I'll be able to get it perfectly centered. But yeah, so so let's go put this guy up and start taking that apart. All right, so before we continue, it's starting to get a little hot. So let's just change it real quick. Okay, that's much better. Okay guys, so we made a little bit more progress. We've got the clutch down here and the flywheel. The flywheel is a little dirty, not too party looking, but we'll get it resurfaced. Be good. The clutch, I'm just gonna end up selling. I don't I don't need an OEM clutch. I'm gonna go with a upgraded clutch just because if I I'd rather do it now while it's out rather than run the OEM clutch and then run more power and then the clutch blow up and then need to pull the trans and replace the clutch. We're gonna do that. So we're gonna we're gonna just bite the bullet and get a get a good clutch. So now I'm gonna take off the flywheel 
and then I'll take this off, take the coil packs out, and then I'll open up the valve covers, take the timing cover off, just make sure everything looks good. And then, uh, and then we might call it a night. You know, that's uh, to do. There's not a whole lot left, really. We've made some pretty good progress. Alright guys, so now we got the valve covers off, everything looks good, it looks way better than my KA that's in my 240. I'm going to keep the spark plugs in for now just to avoid crap getting in there, and I'm going to throw the valve covers back on. I just wanted to make sure that everything was good, uh, and I didn't, you know, run into issues later on. We've got everything put back together, I put the valve covers back on, this is just sat there, I didn't put the screws back in. Put the screws in on the valve covers though, so I didn't lose them. And yeah, so that's it for the teardown, really. There's nothing else to take apart. I'm, I'm very confident in how this motor is has held up over the years. Just by looking at how good quality everything was in, it was in very good shape. So that makes me feel confident, and that makes me believe this 100,000 kilometer thing, which is about 60,000 miles. So that, that, makes, that makes me feel really good. And I just, I'm excited, so now we're, we can start building it. The goal is like 300 wheel horsepower. That's, that's the goal on 91. I'm not going to do 85. Uh, they don't sell 93 in California, at least near me. I haven't seen a place ever for 93. I don't think California does it. I, I hope you guys are excited as I am for this build. I mean, it's, it's my first swap. It's my first motor I've ever bought. It's, this has been the most expensive purchase I've ever made. It was more than my 240 originally cost me, which is kind of weird to think about, but hey, that's, it is what it is. I could have spent a hell of a lot more and got a different motor, or I could have tried to fix the KA, which, eh, I'm, I'm over it. It's, this This is my new, my new friend, it's RB20. I really wish I had the one that said RB20 right here. I might get that because I don't know if I want to get a clear one because then I have to get the cam gears to look cool I think I don't know well then again I don't even know what the stock ones look like they might look cool but yeah probably not have this clear but I definitely will be running it because desert dirt don't want that to get in there to sneak under the belt and mess everything up <laughs> we like to avoid that, so that cover is going to stay. So not running that cover is not an option. All the dust shields and everything are going to stay. The heat shields, however, are not. Like the one that was on the manifold, which I already threw away. But that's gone. There was one on the turbo, that's gone. Uh, but I'm not even running that. I'm going to have a different turbo, and I'm going to get a turbo blanket. And then wrap my, get exhaust wrap, wrap the exhaust, wrap the headers too. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you did comment down below so hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time peace